Well, a lot of traders out there will have heaved a sigh of relief after watching Nifty go back above the mark of 8,000 and some easy breathing for a lot of bulls out there caught in a bear grip. Hello and welcome to Bloomer Print. Shada and I are here to wrap the markets up for you. So Shada, we are looking at a bounce. Tell us more about what's happened today. That's right, Agam. It's been two weeks into the cash crunch now. It was announced on 8th. Uh, night, which was a Tuesday, and uh, you know, even as the situation seems to be easing, it is becoming even more clearer uh, that there are negative implications for the economy. And on the back of that, we've already uh, seen Ambit and Deutsche Bank uh, cut their targets for the Sensex. But if we talk about how the Nifty did today, well, uh, it was a, st a strong start. Uh, to the benchmark index but uh, very early into the trade it seems that the uh, index paired most of the gains and continued to trade uh, around that 79.50, 79.60 level but for that last or late hour rally which uh, lifted the nifty above that 8000 mark so it ended just uh, tad over that 8000, the psychological mark of 8000 so a strong 1% sort of a rebound today after uh, the index hit those May 2016 lows yesterday Agam. and uh, even if I talk about the rupee and the debt markets well both were largely unchanged so clearly it was equities that were in focus today right. uh, but uh, market rollovers continue to remain below that three month average till yesterday um, has that changed today yes I suspect it will change today but I'm gonna wait for uh, the you know the final print uh, before I speak on the numbers but for now I can tell you this that uh, you know at the end of the market we've seen still seen fresh buying in the November future so mm -hmm. uh, you know once again we are looking at short covering and that is certain in both the nifty as well as the bank nifty let's also take a look at what's happened in the options market so uh, as expected we are looking at uh, writing in the 8000 put this is because the nifty has moved back up above that mark and with respect to the range well that remains once again within the 8200 and the 8000 level so it's a 200 point range over the next uh, couple of days until expiry and uh, with respect to you know the kind of positions that we are we're, we're looking at a lot of a lot has changed because we are looking at a more addition of fresh longs in the nifty even in the november future so well that also changed the direction of the market at least in the near term Let's hope so. Uh, but if I talk about the sectors, uh, what really moved today? Well, the beaten down realty sector uh, rallied about 3%. You had metals and auto stocks, which saw uh, substantial gains of uh, over 2%. In fact, barring the capital goods index, I think all the sectors or indices were largely, um, you know, they ended in the green. But if you talk about the nifty movers, Hindalco clearly the top uh, gainer uh, saw gains of as much as uh, 6%. In fact, metal stocks were were doing well today on the back of higher copper, aluminium and zinc prices on uh, Shanghai and uh, Goldman Sachs report also stated that the global factory activity was suggesting commodity markets are entering a, a cyclically strong environment so it seems like um, metals are going to uh, continue with their uptrend. The entire auto pack has also done well so you have um, Maruti Suzuki, Bajaj Auto, Hero Motor Corp, Tata Motors as well uh, sitting on gains of over 2%. On the losing end you have had um, Larson and Dubro ahead of its earnings was, was trading slightly weaker. Uh, consolidated net profit is expected to come in at 784 crores. The number should be out any moment. So, order win of about 1900 crores that the company announced today didn't really help much. Taking cues from uh, the weak LNT. Um, stock performance even BHEL gave up gains and was trading about three and a half percent lower but uh, mid caps really uh, did quite well today Adam. yes so we are looking at a reversal in the advanced decline ratio yeah. as well we have about three declines for seven advances in today's year of trade which also is good news for the broader markets so let's take a look at some of the gainers today we have Johnson control gaining around eleven and a half percent Brigade Enterprises Mangalore refinery along with Soba so a lot of these realty stocks are looking at co covering of shorts uh, made previously so prestigious states also climbing by as much as 7.4 percent among the other counters we have BGR energy Finolex industries max financial along with Coromandel International gaining. 
Uh, let's also take a look at the losers. Uh, well, uh, we have some weakness in Swan Energy, and this is a reversal of what we've seen in the previous few sessions. Swan en Energy is one of those stocks which has bucked the trend, but today looking at profit booking. Himachal Futuristic, Magma Fincorp, Karur Vaisya Bank, as well as Pfizer India is looking at a correction of 4.5%. But on the whole, uh, at least for now in today, we're looking at some amount of positivity with respect to trade. Uh, of course, as you've already mentioned, we're also keeping an eye on Larson and Trubro. Yes. That'll be an, another important result that we'll be keeping an eye on, which will be an, uh, expected any time now. But uh, that's it for now. A lot will depend on how we move into trade specifically in the next two days because it is going to be crucial. It is expiry. We're also going to be keeping an eye on the rollovers. But uh, until tomorrow, it's goodbye.